This is a resolution recognizing the 10 year anniversary of Honor Flight Central Coast California Incorporated. Whereas Honor Flight Central Coast California, the Honor Flight, was founded on October 15th, 2013 with a mission to honor our nation's veterans. Whereas Honor Flight has provided a valuable and patriotic service to our veterans for over a decade, ensuring that their sacrifices and service are recognized and celebrated. And whereas for 10 years, Honor Flight has organized numerous all expense paid trips for our veterans, allowing them to take their tour of honor, visiting their memorials in Washington, D.C., during, including the World War II Memorial, Korean War Memorial, Vietnam Veterans Memorial, and other significant historical sites, fostering a sense of recognition and appreciation for their service from their grateful nation. And whereas these trips have not only enriched the lives of our veterans, but have also provided them with the opportunity to connect with fellow veterans, share their stories, and find solace and support among their peers, which fosters a sense of camaraderie that is invaluable to their well-being. And whereas the 10th anniversary of Honor Flight serves as a poignant reminder of the ongoing commitment to honor and recognize the service and sacrifices of our veterans, inspiring a renewed sense of duty and respect for those who have served our nation. And whereas Honor Flight has been instrumental in raising awareness about the importance of expressing gratitude to our veterans, encouraging communities to come together in support of these heroes, and fostering a sense of patriotism and unity among our citizens. And whereas the dedicated volunteers, sponsors, and supporters of Honor Flight have demonstrated an unwavering commitment to the mission of honoring our veterans, ensuring that this program continues to thrive and make a meaningful impact in the lives of those who have sacrificed so much for our country. Whereas it is fitting and proper that we, the members of this community, take a moment to recognize and commend the incredible achievements of Honor Flight on the occasion of its 10th anniversary. Now, therefore, be it resolved in order that the Board of Supervisors of the County of San Luis Obispo, State of California, does hereby recognize and celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Honor Flight of Central Coast, Inc., applauding their dedication to recognizing and supporting our veterans and and extending our heartfelt gratitude to the organizers, volunteers, sponsors, and all those involved in this noble endeavor for their unwavering commitment to our veterans. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I'd like to thank you for recognizing Honor Flight, uh, but always before I start, I get emotional. And i also also like to ask, are there any veterans in the room? If there are, could you please stand up for me? I heard you say you were in the Navy. I, I just want to say thank you to you two serving our country and allowing us to have the freedom that we have today and that we could be here for these resolutions that you guys have provided to all the organizations. And I just want to say, you don't know me, and you probably don't know a lot of people in this room, but you guys were willing to sacrifice your life for us, and I greatly appreciate that. Thank you. So when we got started 10 years ago, um, you guys honored my son that actually got Honor Flight started. and. Since that time, I've, I've found that Honor Flight is more than just taking veterans back to Washington, D.C. so they can see their memorials and get the recognition that they truly deserve, that they never, ever got when they came home. And what I've, what I've found is the trip is it's healing for these veterans. And one of the stories, I have a couple I want to tell you. One of the stories was a World War II veteran on my first trip and I'm going through the World War II Memorial, and I see this veteran standing over by the Guam pillar, just bawling. So I walk up to him, and I'm like, "Lo, well, we lost a lot of buddies there, huh, Gordon? He goes, you don't know. It wasn't until several years later I found out that's where his brother died during World War II. And he was so thankful that there was a pillar there to honor his brother and that his brother would never be forgotten. And it was a huge change in Gordon, because before we went on the trip, Gordon didn't want to talk to anybody. Mm -hmm. 
And after he got to the World War II Memorial and saw that pillar, he came home and called me up and said, Bear, I want to go to a uh, cemetery up in Passwell on Memorial Day and, and uh, I mean on Veterans Day, I'm sorry, <laughs> and, and honor uh, the veterans there and to pass out information about the honor flight because people need to go on this trip. And that was his story. I have a Vietnam veteran that went a couple years ago that told me his story that he was supposed to be on uh, uh, patrol one night and as he's getting ready to go, uh, another soldier runs out and says, hey, this is my platoon, I'm going. So he pulls him off. That guy died that night. And this Vietnam veteran carried this with him until he went to the trip, honor flight trip, and he was in front of the Vietnam Wall, and he stood there, and he's telling me, he told me his story. He's, he's standing there, he's just looking at the wall, and he just starts talking. He says, I don't know who you were, but I've always wondered what your life would have been like had you not removed me from that patrol that night. Mm -hmm. And it was a healing point for him. And then our last trip, two, two trips ago, we had two Vietnam veterans out in front of the Iwo Jima Memorial, standing there, talking about when were you in country? What was your job? The one veteran says, well, I was a, a senior airman and I dispatched planes for patrols that were out that needed help. And the other veteran was a combat veteran. He looks at him, he says, what was your handle? He goes, joyride. The veteran looked at his buddy that was with him. He goes, this man saved my life. He was in a fight and they were pinned down and they had to call for air support. And the one he called was standing right next to him and he never knew him until he went on this honor flight. And the funny thing is, both of these veterans were attorneys, never knew each other. They live five miles apart in Napomo now. They both drive the same Cadillac model, make, and color. And they go to lunch every week together now, somewhere. And that's just part of what the Honor Flight program is. And I just want to thank the board for your support. I know you, you have donated money to Honor Flight so we can get these veterans back there. As, as you all know, it is a free flight. We do not charge a veteran to go. They wrote a check to this country years ago and we want to cash that check and take every veteran that we can. So I brought Robert uh, Tolan here. He's uh, my co-chair. He uh, also runs Welcome Home Military Heroes. I'd like to have Rob say a few words. Yes, uh, thank you, everyone. Um, again, this this means not a lot, or th this means a lot, not only to our board but to all the veterans that we're that we're honoring. Um, you know, our county's been blessed, being the only county in the country to have the traveling wall visit twice, and that wall was a huge emotion for all of them, but we want to be able to take those veterans to the actual wall and to visit all the other memorials that are built built for them. And a lot of them don't have the resources to get, to get back there. And so, like you said, this is 100% free. We don't, like literally they can go over there and not spend a dime. It's an amazing trip. The other thing is we need guardians. So if any of you guys want to go and actually be a guardian for a veteran, we would love to have you guys um, come on that trip. It's only three days. I know you're all super busy, but that trip will change your life. To, I have a story and, I, and I'll make it really quick. I had a veteran when I first came to the organization in, in 2017. It was right after I got off of uh, active duty and this veteran did not want to go. The trip, when we, when we were flying from San Luis Obispo to Baltimore, it was kind of awkward because he didn't want to talk because he was mad that his wife forced him to go. And other than his wife, no one in his family knew that he served in World War II. He's never talked about it, nothing. And so we get over there and he breaks down and he starts 
engaging with all the other veterans there and he just opens up and he tells me the final night that we're, we're in DC that he wants to come home and he wants to tell his family everything that he's done. And we, I went with him to coffee about two weeks after the trip and he told the story and the families, they were all crying because he, the things that he experienced in World War II, he's finally able to get off his chest. And that's just from this trip. And then we've had veterans that just like that story, they end up serving together, they didn't realize it, and now they live in the same county or same city. It's just, Honor Flight has just been an amazing program and we appreciate everything that, that you guys have done to, to help us. So thank you. Thank you for, for being here and um, I'm going to open the floor to for additional public comment. I don't have any requests to speak on this. We'll close the floor to public comment, bring it back to our board. We'll start down here to Supervisor Paulding. Thank you, Chair. Thank you both of you for being here and for what you do and what an amazing program. Happy to support it. Thank you. Um, I think there's an honor flight coming up and May 13th, and uh, you can, and I've done this many times, go to the airport either early in the morning when they take off or come and welcome them home. And I think the last time I went, there was over a thousand people there at the welcome home. So um, for all those listening and people here in the audience, if you'd like to do that, please talk to, talk to Bear and his team, because I think it's an exceptional opportunity to, to thank those veterans. Supervisor ortiz -Lang. Um, well, thank you for being here. Uh, I'm really happy to honor the 10 years. You have changed people's lives. There is no doubt about it. Um, that's a tough road of, for so many that have been unable to express their grief and, and, and all that it meant to them to serve, but yet come home and hold a lot of things inside. I, I know that um, it's, just, it's a remarkable way for them to be able to find that camaraderie, to find that support, and find their voice and, and recognize for themselves their value. Um, when I was at the Veterans Hall in last, last November, one of the stories that I heard um, from some of the Honor Flight guys is that they came together with the Iraq vets and that that was a, a real important mo moment for both of them, um, the Vietnam vets and the Iraqi vets talking to each other and listening to each other and having each other um, from that generational point of, of reference. And um, just, it's wonderful, so thank you. and. I'm very proud of Kelly Abbas, my legislative assistant, who is really dedicated to the organization as well. So thank you, Kelly, for your service too to this organization. Supervisor Gibson. Thank you, Madam Chair. I know um, that it is an emotional experience to have those connections made, and I appreciate very much that you're there to make it happen and continue to offer my thanks for the service you provide. I want to thank you for being here as well. 10 years, it's hard to believe. And I know it was a, a vision, Bear, you, from the beginning, it was just, it was a vision you had to honor the veterans. And it's grown into something so amazing. And uh, you're right, it touches so many people, not just the veterans, but the folks that go along with, and even the people that go uh, to the airports to welcome or s the send offs. So it's, it's just an amazing program. And uh, I appreciate you being here to help others kind of learn about it. So thank you.